The procedure to move a slide is very similar to the procedure to insert a slide with some slight differences. So here we have our slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, and slide five. And just like uh, inserting a slide, we need to pay attention to the flow of what happens next in the service. Because you see at the bottom of every slide, at the end of slide one, slide two is what comes next. At the end of slide two, slide three is what comes next. Slide three, slide four is next. Slide four, slide five is next. And slide five is the end. So there's nothing after that. Well, what if we want to take slide four and we want to move it between slide one and slide two? It's very simple to do. You just click and drag and suddenly now we have slide one, slide four, slide two, slide three, slide five. The problem is, is that our order is now out at the bottom of each of those slides. So slide one says slide two is next, but it isn't. It's actually slide four, which says that slide five is next, but it isn't. It's slide two, then slide three, which says slide four is next, but it's actually slide five. So everything has been messed up here. How do we fix that? Well, if you've got uh, the, the point at which you've moved the slides to and the point at which you've moved slides from, then you know where you need to fix things. So we need to go above and, be, and behind the, the, the slides insertion point. So we've inserted slide four earlier in the presentation. We need to make sure that slide one and slide two are appropriate. And then the point at which we took them from between three and five that those are appropriate as well. And in a short presentation, the easiest thing might be to do simply this. Simply select by using Shift, Control, and the arrow keys. Control C to copy. And then Control and Shift to select again with the arrow keys and paste. And again, uh, you can do uh, Control Shift up arrow to select that entire line at the same time. Control C select two to the left, paste. Then we're going to again select, move up a slide, select and paste. And just repeat this procedure over and over again until you get to the top and then if you've made multiple edits doing this can be very useful because then you can get all the way to the top of the slide and know that the entire thing is appropriate. So after moving a slide, we have slide one. After slide one, we have slide four. After slide four, we have slide two. After slide two, we have slide three. After slide three, we have slide five. After slide five, we have the end. So this is the same procedure you wanna use when you're first setting up a presentation. Put in all your slides, get everything to where you want it to be, and then start at the bottom and simply copy, move up a slide, paste, copy the title, move up a slide, paste. And this way you can very quickly and easily move through the entire presentation. Songs need their initial and end slides uh, copied and pasted, but internally all of that is done, uh, what, what the upcoming slide is for a song, internally that's done when that slide is created. So from the first slide to the last slide, that is going to be internally consistent because it's always the same. But anywhere uh, where you're inserting something like a uh, sermon or prayer or uh, children's story or something like that, where it changes week to week exactly where that falls in the order of service, doing it this way just very quickly and easily allows you to link up uh, everything, moving to the previous song then skipping to the end of that song, linking that song with whatever uh, comes before it. You want an unbroken chain from the top to the bottom of the presentation so that the people who are on stage, this is their private area where only they see that information. And at the end of every slide should be what is upcoming. And also we often put in the name of the person who is responsible for that upcoming thing. If it's not a song or something like that, then uh, anytime you've got a new element of the service starting, putting in the name of the person responsible is very helpful because it gives a cue to the people on stage as to who should be stepping up to the mic. Thanks very much. Have a good day.